Good morning everyone and welcome to our Wednesday morning service on the 9th of December. Awaken me Lord to your light. Open, Open my, my eyes to, to your, your presence. presence. Awaken me Lord to your love. Open, Open my, my heart to your indwelling. indwelling. Awaken me Lord to your life. Open, Open my, my mind to your abiding. abiding. Awaken me Lord to your purpose. Open, open my, my will, will to, to your, your guiding. guiding. In the name of Christ, who died and was raised by the glory of the Father, we welcome you. Grace, mercy and peace be with you all, and, and also, also with, with you. you. Though I walk the darkest path, the Lord my Shepherd will be with me all the way. We sing our first hymn. my shepherd I'll not want He makes me lie in pastures green He leads me by the still, still waters His goodness restores my soul And I will trust in you We now come to our time of confession when we admit the things we've done wrong to God. Lord, bring new life where we are worn and tired, new love where we have turned hard-hearted, forgiveness where we feel hurt and wounded, and the joy and freedom of your Holy Spirit where we are prisoners of ourselves. To all and to each where regret is real, God pronounces pardon and grants the right to begin again. 
Amen. Our psalm this morning is taken from Psalm 30. I will, I will exalt, exalt you, Lord, for you rescued, rescued me. You refused to let my enemies triumph over me. The o Lord my God, I cried to you for help, and you restored my health. You brought me up from the grave, O Lord. You kept me from falling into the pit of death. Sing to the Lord, all you godly ones. Praise his holy name. For his anger lasts only a moment, but his favour lasts a lifetime. Weeping may last through the night, but joy comes with the morning. You have turned my mourning into joyful dancing. You have taken away my clothes of mourning and clothed me with joy that I might sing praises to you and not be silent. O Lord my God, I will give you thanks for ever. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be for ever. Amen. Good morning, everyone. In Sunday schools years ago, and maybe still now, I don't know, it was the custom to ask the children to learn a verse from the Bible each week. So the wily among them would recite a really short verse and then claim their sticker prize. One favourite was from John chapter 11. Just two words. Jesus wept. The shortest verse, but I think one of the deepest and most important sentences in the Bible. I think it explains the whole gospel. Jesus wept at his friend Lazarus's tomb with Lazarus's sisters, Martha and Mary. He cried for their grief. He suffered with them. As part of the Trinity in heaven, he had seen the mess the world was in. People crying out for help and rescue. The Incarnation, his coming to earth as human, was a response in love to make us better. His death and resurrection and then sending his spirit to be his presence in our daily lives was because he wept for us. Where is God in suffering? I read this recently. We do not cease to convey to you the joy that animates us May Almighty God fill you a hundredfold for the gesture of love and heart for all you have done for these brothers and sisters in difficulty. These are the words of a Christian leader as he explained how Christians had responded when they received aid from their brothers and sisters far away. God is good, God is good, God is good forever, joyfully sang Madeleine, a Cameroonian Christian widow, as she received her parcel of food and other essential items. Marie, a Christian mother, couldn't hold back her tears as she gratefully exclaimed, The God of Jesus Christ has visited me. More than 600 Christian families, displaced by cruel terror attacks on villages in far north Cameroon earlier this year, were sustained with food, blankets and sleeping mats, warm children's clothes, hygiene items and other essentials. For these two women, Madeleine and Marie, God was in their suffering, sending them aid. Their distress had been great, but their joy was even greater. Where is God in suffering? Jesus wept at his friend Lazarus's tomb with Lazarus's sisters. He cried for their grief. He suffered with them. And yet, he had delayed coming to them when he'd heard Lazarus was seriously ill because he knew he was to do a greater work that produced greater joy in raising Lazarus from the dead. As the psalmist says in Psalm 30, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Where is God in suffering? He's right there, suffering too. But he also wants to bring a greater joy as we see him act in our lives. 
Sometimes we are in such a state that we block him out. C.S. Lewis, the author, found exactly this when he lost his wife Joy. His grief and anger were so great, it closed his heart and mind from receiving God's help and presence. He's written a book about it called A Grief Observed. But the good news of Good Friday is that it is always followed by Easter Sunday, new life, resurrection, joy coming in the morning. And this is the good news of Christmas too. He chose to become human and experience everything we do, to suffer with us, to weep with us and to comfort us. Whatever we're suffering, he suffers it too and then brings greater joy in the morning.
we say the Lord's Prayer together. Our Our Father, Father, who who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy Thy kingdom kingdom come, come, thy thy will be done, done, on earth as it it is in heaven. heaven. Give Give us this this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Christ be our light. Shine through the darkness, shine in your church gathered today. We sing our second hymn. final prayer 
Lord, give us wisdom before we speak, understanding while we listen, sensitivity towards those we meet, and the perspective of your kingdom in which to see the things of earth. Bring us to the day's ending, blessed through having shared the day's beginning. In Christ's name. Amen. And we close by saying the grace together. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us all evermore. Amen.